Bacterial vaginosis, trichomonas vaginalis, and candidiasis. They are very, very, very important. Please focus on this. Let's make comparison between them in order to make it easy for you. Bacterial vaginosis. It's not sexual transmitted disease. While trichomonas vaginalis is sexual transmitted disease. And for vaginal candidiasis, it's also not sexual transmitted disease. Now, for treatment of partner. Bacterial vaginosis is not sexual transmitted disease, so there is no need of treatment of the partner. While in case of trichomonas vaginalis, need treatment of the partner. Focus on this because it's sexual transmitted disease. And in case of vaginal candidiasis, no treatment of partner needed. For the keyword, the keyword for bacterial vaginosis is thin, grayish white, fishy odor discharge. It's very, very, very bad discharge. If you look at this picture here, you will see a white discharge from the vagina and cervix. So this is the keyword for bacterial vaginosis. While in case of trichomonas vaginalis, the keyword for it is red, red, red. I mean red cervix, red vagina, and red vulva. It's also called strawberry cervix. If you look at this picture here on the right center, you will see a red cervix and red vagina, and the cervix appear like strawberry. For that reason, it's called strawberry cervix. While in case of candidiasis, the keyword for it is white, cheesy, scanty, adherent discharge. Look at this right bottom picture. It's a white discharge, but it's a scanty and adherent discharge. And that's the keyword for candidiasis. Another keyword is that under microscope, you will see a clue cells in case of bacterial vaginosis. A clue cells, it's an epithelial cells surrounded by bacterial vaginosis, okay? While in case of trichomonas vaginalis, under microscope, you will see motile protozoa, as here above. And in case of candidiasis, you will see acidohyphae, as in the picture above. For the treatment, bacterial vaginosis drug of choice is metrendazole. And metrendazole is contraindicated in lactation. For that reason, use clindamycin in case of lactating woman. While the treatment of choice of trichomonas vaginalis is the same, metrendazole. And focus on this, treat the partner also, please. Don't forget that, as it's sexual transmitted disease. And in case of candidiasis, the treatment of choice is oral fluconazole. And in case of pregnancy, oral fluconazole is contraindicated, so use vaginal azole cream. And the treatment of recurrent vulvovaginitis is also oral fluconazole. I mean, it's the same. And focus on this. The most common cause of cyclic vulvovaginitis is vaginal candidiasis due to changes in vaginal pH. Okay? And the last information is that bacterial vaginosis is the most common cause of vaginal infection in general. Focus on this. Most common cause of vaginal infection in general is bacterial vaginosis. While most common cause of cyclic vulvovaginitis is vaginal candidiasis. And that's it. For full course, please contact us through amcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.